So every once in a while a new fragrance house comes along and really makes their own mark. I had a new, brand new company reach out to me recently and wanted me to try some of their fragrances. I just received them in the mail. I have not sprayed them yet. And this is from a new house called Icon de Parfum. We got Baseline and Glass Court. Stay tuned. So the owner reached out to me, who maybe a month ago, uh, didn't even have his website up yet, was still trying to find exactly what his logo was going to be, did not have his fragrances yet. He had the ideas for his fragrances and he reached out to me, asked if I'd be interested in checking them out once he released. So when he did come time for him to release, he reached out to me and he sent me two of the three. This one's called Baseline. You can see the eye logo right here. Ended up going with a really cool looking logo. These are stock bottles, but they have laser etching on them. The copper color. And then this one's called Glass Court. And there's another one called 623. So it relates to basketball. So I actually put the whole motto for the company right here. It's to recreate old factory memories for him from, his, from growing up in the valley. I'm assuming growing up in the valley in California. Um, I did not check the address when he sent it over here, so I'll have to double check that. Shame on me for not checking first. Uh, seemed like a very cool guy. We just messaged back and forth through Instagram. Like I said, I have not sprayed these yet. They are Parfum Concentration, which I would assume extra to Parfum. Uh, I did not read any note breakdowns or anything like that. I just know they're Parfums. And uh, let's give them a spray on skin and do some first impressions on these. So I guess first, We'll check out Glass Quartz. I'm telling you, I'm really digging that logo. I think that logo would look cool on a hat. You know me, hat guy, but I swear I didn't spray it before this. <laughs> that worked out though. It's a little familiar. I'm trying to think what it smells like. There's definitely some orange up top here it's familiar but i can't put my finger on it. it doesn't smell exactly like something but it's reminding me the old factory it's kind of reminding my palate of certain fragrances and i can't really pinpoint what they are there's definitely some orange up up top and it smells really good really good orange peel type of orange like a little bit of the rind but still some of the citrusy brightness of the juice yeah, this is very bright up top, uh, very uplifting. Like it's kind of lifting my spirit smelling it. It's, it's very uplifting. Glass quartz. Hmm. So I'm sure this has absolutely something to do with a uh, backboard on, on the basketball court because I know he's a big basketball fan. And uh, that's kind of playing to the, the picture he's trying to paint based on what he told me. Like you can see the, the logo. Like I really like how he did this. Obviously, molds for bottles are very, very expensive. It's not easy for a brand, you know, a small new house starting out to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to have molds and bottles and all that. So if you're going to go with stock bottles, it's very important to put your own touch, your own spin, your own thing to really make your mark on something like that. And I'm telling you, I'm loving the way this is laser etched on there or however that is. I'm telling you, I'm digging that logo. And then glass quartz, that's actually on the other side looking through. Very, very clever with the copper and very good atomizer. Shoots way, way far. It's got a little bit of powderiness to it. I think why it's striking me as something familiar is that it smells like tonka bean. Tonka beans used in so many fragrances. It's a little powdery. It's a little sweet. It smells like tonka bean. It probably is tonka bean. And some citrus, and there's something else I'm picking up, but maybe some minor woods in the background, but definitely sweet, a little citrus, a little powdery. Smells like it's gonna project like crazy, and I don't know if the camera's gonna be able yeah, to pick this up. That big oil sheen that's on my hands, definitely an extra to parfum concentration. This smells good. This smells very, very good. 
Uh, I'm recording this on a set on a Friday night. You'll see this Saturday morning is when this is going to launch. Uh, I may just go ahead and wear this. I like how this smells. So I think this will be my scent of the day when you guys are watching this video fresh. So this will be Saturday's scent of the day. I'm really digging this. And they're not expensive at all. They're $39, and I believe this is a 50 ml bottle. Not bad at all. Let's check out the other one. So next is definitely basketball related because this one is called Baseline. And again, got that logo. I'm digging that, man. I really am. Let's see if this one sprays on the first spray. Yep, sure did. Spray my wrist. Missed a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Give it a second. Extra de parfum, I'm sure don't have much perfumer's alcohol on the top. Whoa. That's got a skankiness I was not expecting. There's a musky kind of skankiness. Not a oud skankiness, but it's, I know this note. I know this note. It's a leather. It's a, an animalic leather. And it's got a little bit of skankiness to it. And when I say that, I'm, when I say skanky, I mean animalic. That's really what I think I'm trying to say here. But that's, a, that's definitely a lot of leather. I'm guessing to go off of a leather basketball, considering this is a basketball-related brand here. The, the animalic nature of it's kind of subsiding a little bit. It's not coming out as rough and raw as it did right, off, right in the opening. The opening really kind of just punched me in the nose. It's settling down a little bit. There's a little bit of sweetness in the background. I'm not really getting any spices or anything like that. But definitely a lot of leather. A lot of leather. Not really getting any florals either. There's a little bit of citrus, but not much. It's mainly dominated by leather. A lot of leather. It's getting more and more pleasant. It's calming down. Uh, the opening was, was harsh. It's a bit animalic. But it's, it's softening up, if you will. It's getting more and more, it smells more and more wearable as the seconds are passing. There's definitely some sort of fruitiness in there. Maybe a citrus fruit, but it's not real fresh up top, but there's enough freshness to stop it from being real warming and wearing too heavy because it doesn't smell too heavy. The opening did, but it doesn't smell like a heavy wear now for being dominated by leather. I mean dominated by leather. If you like leather fragrances, Baseline is going to be the one for you to check out. Yeah. It's getting a little bit, there's a little fruity sweetness in there. Not much, just kind of a supporting underlying note. Um, just to kind of wrap itself under the base of, of that leather. I like it. Like, yeah, if you like leather fragrances, definitely check out Baseline. I don't know if they have any sample packs available, but they do have these 50 mLs. And I will say, of the two, Glass Quartz definitely my favorite. I mean, it's it's kind of mass appealing. I mean, of course I'm going to like that one. Um, yeah, orangey, tonka bean, fruity, citrusy, you know what I mean? A little powdery. Yeah. So, baseline, it's okay. Not bad at all. Especially if you like a good leather. Glass quartz, my pick of the two for sure. This is definitely going to be my scent of the day tomorrow. I was unsure of what I was going to wear. I had a few things I was looking at that are pulled to the side to, you know, grab and pick through in the morning. But I think we'll go with glass quartz. I'm really digging this. So kudos. I don't even know the gentleman's name. It was brief recently. He kind of surprised me with the package. I forgot it was coming. I'll tell you what, I'm digging the logo. Really, really digging the Icon de Parfum logo. I like the touch on the bottles. I'm telling you, for stock bottles, these are... They have their own flair. The Icon de Parfum flair is on these bottles. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have heard of Icon de Parfum? He's only got uh, six posts. 
of these fragrances I checked earlier today because uh, I knew I saw the package arrived. Um, check out the website. They are available. I know they're $39.99. I'll link the website and his Instagram page down below, of course. If you're interested in checking them out, by all means, check them out. And uh, if you're looking for my advice on one to try, if you want a safer bet, glass quartz. I don't know what 623 is all about, but Baseline is a leather-dominated fragrance, and your mass-appealing fragrance is glass quartz. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of the fragrances from Icon de Parfum and you give them a try, who knows? You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.